Hello, this is Tony Books of Elez from Staten Island Personal Training and Staten Island Boot Camp here for the Staten Island Slim Down. First thing I want to do is I need to congratulate you. You've gotten past the 21 day mark. Now, what does that mean? That means that now the habits are starting to form. The studies have shown that 21 days is the beginning of the formation of a habit. So a lot of the things that you've been doing that are new to your lifestyle should start to feel pretty regular. That's the most important thing, that they're starting to feel pretty regular the way now that you're exercising, the way you're moving, the way that you're eating. All of those things should start to feel like something that you just do. So that is a fantastic thing. Now, 21 days is a milestone, but it's also extremely crucial. Why is that? Because going into or going past the 21st day is a very new thing for you. And so even though you've reached the milestone, it's still pretty fragile because you still have the possibility of going back to your old self. Now, if I could have taken you 21 days ago and made you feel the way you were today, it would probably feel extremely drastic. You would probably say, wow, I can't believe how yesterday I felt was so terrible. <laughs> and now today I feel so great in comparison. But see, the whole thing is that the 21 days is so gradual in terms of the change. It's very easy to not recognize how big of a change that you made so far. So you really want to keep that in mind. See, what happens is that in the beginning of the year, many people make the decision that they're going to do something very different in their life. They're going to change their relationship, they're going to get a better job, they're going to start pursuing a better education, they're going to lose weight and get in shape. Then what happens is by Valentine's Day, it's over. And why is that? Well, sometimes the changes that people make are too drastic, and sometimes it's just they haven't gotten past that true milestone where we start to get into the change of action becoming into more of a maintenance mode. And see, we're still headed towards that. We're not there yet, but we're beginning to formulate that. And I really believe that many people cannot get past that, that roadblock or that plateau to get into maintenance mode because they haven't psychologically or mentally been able to accept their own personal good in their life. Now, here's a personal story. When we first came up with the idea for the Slim Down, it basically came to me, in a dream. That's the best way to explain it. And I started bringing other people into the program, most notably my, my partner Maureen Becker, and we started moving towards this. And when we had our conversations, we started talking about the probability of us having 100 people. We said 100 people would be great, 150 people would be great. Well, we ended up getting over 1,200 people. And to be honest with you, Emotionally, mentally, I wasn't ready for that. And I found myself thinking thoughts of doubt, of, of, of sabotage. And you know what? It's only because it's not familiar. When you get the ability to achieve up here, and you're accustomed to achieving down there, it, it creates a certain level of, of uncomfortability for you. Now, this discomfort is basically your lower consciousness sabotaging you. It's sabotaging you. See, the question you have to ask as you move towards transformation, we're not just talking weight loss here, remember. We're talking about transformation, both physically and personally. But that self-sabotage is you having to answer the question, can you accept the good in your life? Can you accept the good things in your life? And it's difficult. And it's very personal to me because, again, as I said, I have been experiencing this. Achieving beyond what you thought you'd be able to achieve really sets up some questions that need to be answered. Now, one of the things that you want to actually ask yourself is this. Take the time out. Today, if possible, take the time out. Make a list of three things that may be holding you back from being successful in the long term. It could be a person, it could be a relationship, it could be a job, it could be anything, a habit, whatever it may be. And here's what you want to do. 
you have only two choices if you want to move forward. And that is you either have to change them or change the way you feel about them. That's it. And sometimes you have to make some crucial decisions. It may be a person in your life that's bringing you down. <clears throat> it may be a job that you need to change or a career that you need to change. Or you can change your attitude towards them. Is this job and this person in my life really bringing me down? Or is it I have to switch up the way I feel about them? I have to make an alteration in the relationship. I have to maybe get a transfer to a different location. I, maybe I, instead of having this habit, I have to change it. Because you don't end a habit. You don't end a habit. Habits are not ended. They're replaced. So maybe you have to put something instead of this habit that's bringing you down. And it really comes down to your attitude. What attitude are you bringing to this process? Because I said this before and I'll say it again. That this whole contest, this whole journey that we're on, this whole process that you're completing really is a metaphor for taking control of your life. It's just that simple. So you have some hard decisions that you have to make, but you have support. We have over 1,200 other people that are doing it simultaneously with you. And this means that it can be done. So you want to take some of the work that you're implementing here while you're changing your body and use some of that effort and put it towards what you can do to improve your life. And it's really just that simple. I'm not saying it's easy, but it really is that simple. Bring that attitude, make those decisions, make some changes watch yourself, feel yourself elevate. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go to the workout and some of the changes that are going to be happening in this week's program. We're entering week number four. You believe it? Entering week number four. That's unbelievable. You've stayed with the process. You've stayed with the program. Congratulations again. So we're going to continue with the same workouts. You had workout A, workout B. So the recommendation again is to do workout A Monday, B Tuesday, skip Wednesday, then work out A Thursday, and then work out B on Friday. And you're going to continue with five to six days of cardio from 25 to 30 minutes. Now, with the workouts, what you're going to do now is, I said before, you're going to perform the same exercises in the first portion, one right after the other, then you're going to complete it again. And then you're going to complete another whole rotation again. So that's three rotations of those exercises. And the A exercises and later again in the B exercises. And then you're going to do, instead of 12 repetitions, you're going to do 20 repetitions. So we are increasing the volume. So instead of doing two sets or two rotations of those exercises at 12, rep 12 repetitions each, you're going to do three at 20 rep repetitions. And this is going to be a different feeling, but we're re you're ready for this. You're ready for it. It may be a challenge at the beginning, but just like all the other challenges that you've risen to and that you've acclimated to, you'll be able to do that. Keep that in mind. You will be able to do it. It's going to be challenging, but you will be able to do that. Okay, we are going to be continuing as well with the metabolic nutrition plan. But listen to me. We're going to try something different this week. We're going to perform what's called a carb rotation. And what the carb rotation basically is, is that you're going to take one day out. And during that one day, it's going to be of your choice. I'm going to recommend that it's, that it's going to be a Wednesday. Because on Wednesday, your volume of exercise decreases a little bit. But during that carb rotation, you're going to consume no starchy carbohydrates. That's no starchy carbohydrates. Okay? And there's a reason for it, because we have seven weeks left. That's right, only seven weeks left. So we want to start doing certain things that are going to influence your body to reduce body fat. Without getting too much into the science, what this is going to do is going to help to regulate your blood sugar and then influence your body to start using body fat stores in order to, for energy. And it'll help you to also preserve your muscle stores, which will enhance your metabolic burn so just do that one day no starchy carbohydrates which means all of your meals should consist of lean protein and a vegetable 
And even though there may be some fruit in that fibrous carbohydrate list, during this week, no fruit. So all of your meals during that one carb rotation day should be lean protein and vegetable. And then the other meals will be part of that metabolic nutrition plan. And then throughout this week, no fruit at all. And I'm not trying to say that fruit is not healthy. But what we're looking to do is to regulate the blood sugar. Here's the good news. On one day this week, if you want to have fruit, you want to have some sugar, you want to have one of those foods that you really, really enjoy, do it on one day. I recommend Sunday. That's just I just recommend it my day because that's just the day I kick back. And again, there's no exercise. Nice day to just have a beer or something that you enjoy drinking or eating. Okay? So how will you feel when you do the carb rotation day? You probably will feel... Some people say, I feel like crap. <laughs> well, maybe not like crap. But what you'll feel is that your energy will go down a little bit. Because the major energy source to the brain is sugar, which comes directly from simple sugar you consume or from carbohydrates that you consume that are quickly converted into sugar. So you may feel a little lightheaded or feel a little energy low during that day. If it gets to be really serious, then of course, by all means, you want to have some carbohydrate in order to offset that. But you don't want to have a big carbohydrate meal, even though your body may be craving that. Just have a little bit, just enough to stave that feeling off. Because again, what we're looking to do at this point in time is to start influencing your body to start utilizing the body fat stores for energy, which is going to lead to having a tremendous, and I do mean tremendous, physical transformation. So remember, you want to download the report that's at the bottom of this video, and it's going to have everything that you need in writing. You can print it out and carry it with you. All right, so remember, make, this, make the decisions this week. Make those tough changes if they're, if they're necessary, if it's appropriate, and bring your attitude, the good attitude, to everything that you do, and we'll be jetting you faster to that positive transformation at the end of the program. And so I'm going to end this presentation the way I end all of them, to remind you to put your heart and soul in your goal.